<laughs> what do you want it? I don't know. Oh, I was gonna say we just arrived in Sydney. We're getting an Uber. Priority pickup. That's where you go. It's like a minute walk from the airport. Anyways, see you at the hotel. Hey, we just uh, arrived at our hotel. Let's do a little bit of a quick run through. Um, it's fairly budget. It's like less than $200 a night in Sydney, which is pretty good. And fairly close to the main train station, Central Station. Central station. The name of the hotel is Song, S-O-N-G. Uh, let's have a look. So you got fairly basic amenities. You've got the, the toilets, the basin, Shower's kind of big combo area. No, no sitting area like the, the Mexican hotels were in just recently. Um, you got heating, you got aircon, central heating, sprinkler system, no smoking in here. Um, yeah, you got your, your TV. Let's have a look at the view. I don't think we've got a balcony. We're not bloody. Let's have a look. Oh, nah, no balcony, but at least we've got a, a street view. There's um, double glazed windows, hopefully. Yeah, it seems pretty quiet at the moment. Can't hear any traffic noise. That's it, basic room, basic bed. Song Hotel, I might do a bit of a further update after a few nights staying here, but yeah, it's close to everything. Hey, uh, it's the next day. I was checking out their complimentary breakfast. Uh, it's mostly just cereal. Erica's got some yogurt and oats. There's a couple bits of fruit, just pears and apple. Uh, I'm on the Nutrigrains. It's a very basic breakfast, but um, it's free. So I'll get some coffee in me, some uh, cereal, and good to go. Is it on? It's on. Huh? All right, so we're heading towards uh, the bus da station to the bus station, just a bus stop to go to yeah. Fuji Beach. Let's walk across here. Hey, look at this beautiful building, baby. So yeah, we we got some Opal cards because we both left our Opal cards. They're they're free here in Sydney. So we've got a load of bit of cash on them, and then uh, we're good to go. I think we go left. We got I got the Google Maps to find um, our way to the beach. Coogee Beach, Coogee Coogee Beach. Ah, a little bit of a, we're not going for a swim, but we will go for maybe some beers near the beach. Beers in the beach. We love our beers. And have a bit of a look at the beach. Maybe put my toe in, that way it counts. We'll have a look. We're just on our, the, we got the bus, got the Opal card. We both forgot our Opal card, so we had to get new ones. They're, they're free here, which is a good thing. Um, we're buying Mike here in Melbourne, we're gonna pay $5 for that. Might even be $10, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, yeah, on our way. We've got a coffee in hand. We've got a face mask just, just in case someone yells at me and says, put a face mask on, never know. And uh, yeah, relaxing trip in. Public transport's the way to go, cheap way to travel around Sydney. $2.65. Yeah, it's not so bad. It's about a 20, 25 minute uh, bus ride. Tapped off. Yeah. Always remember to tap off or it's going to cost you a bit. I think the, the Uber is about $30, so definitely a way to go. So down, down at Coogee Beach, there's a nice walkway right on along the, uh, I guess the sandy area. I've got no idea what this is all about, just like a little up there chilly area. It's a different sort of setup here. You gonna touch the water, baby? Uh, yeah, you do it. Get amongst it. 
so this is a nice thing. We've got a we refill the water bottle here. Where is it? In the bag. Got your hair. Hey baby. There's locker rooms uh, and toilets here. Oh, free locker, what? This is what Melbourne needs. There's free lockers. Out of control. They keep selling to me. Sydney's doing well. Free lockers, cheap, cheap public transport. Free water. Look at that. That's free, baby. Good. Bloody good water. This thing. Oh wow, it's got the information on the waves and we're in the bloody future. Well, it's not interactive is it? No, just a bit of info on wave heart, the pollution, humidity, a lot of, lot of things. How much park, parking's nearby, it says about the free, free lockers and how many are available. Oh, stone, we're living in the stone age of Melbourne. What's this? It's bloody good. Check this out. How much is it you reckon? You Sunscreen. Some? How much? No. Uh, you you know, I am I'm, I'm a white boy, but I, I reckon I'll be alright. But it is these days you get sunburnt. Let's see. I don't think it's operational, but still, sunscreen machine. It's bloody, bloody living in the future we are. Living in the future. Look at the view, baby. It's very nice. Oh yes, 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 yes. All right, I think we found a shortcut. <laughs> We've uh, gone from Kuji Beach and ah uh, uh, yeah yeah before going from and to. Bronte. Bronte Beach. Like uh, Brontosaurus, Bronte Dinosaur, Bronte over here. Looks kind of nice from this view. Very hilly walk. Enjoy the beach. Enjoy the beach, they say, on, on the uh, electrical box. <laughs> Alright, onwards. Tu gusta, baby? What, the swing? Yeah. I like to swing. But I don't know tricks in the swing though. You don't know any tricks? No. <laughs> I didn't even know you could do tricks, like a backflip. No, I can't. You don't do the backflip <laughs> no. when you're swinging? No. Uh, I don't do backflips, I just swing. How's it going, Matt? Good day. Ew, pop, pop, pop. That's a good little shortcut. What are you saying, baby? Just like uh, city bikes. Yeah, city bikes. On, on Lime and Uber, so. Oh, the Uber bikes then. Yeah, must be able to use it by the Uber app. We used to have Lime on in Mexico scooters. But... Yeah. Yeah, we just got them, we just got the Lime scooters recently in Melbourne. I don't know how good they got, but um, yeah. I don't know if it's just the fad, these bicycles, the rental bicycles, or the scooters. Because you've got the, the ones in Mexico that have been a staple of like, they've been around forever, yeah? The red ones. Scooters? No, the red uh, bikes. The bikes not forever. No, not forever. I think it's from... Eco Bici. 2006 or something. 2006. Mm -hmm. 2006. Yeah, not that long. But I feel like that's almost a government funded thing. It's it like is. so it so is. cheap. It is a government yeah. funded thing. Yeah. Ah, yeah, probably to ease congestion on the road uh -huh. and all this kind yeah. of stuff. That's what they need. Like a cheaper Mexico's got it the right way. Someone needs to go around and just steal things from different countries that work, have been proven that work and make a better country or a city. Just steal the things. Steal the ideas. People have done things that work. Yeah, let's go this way. Looks nice. Just following this lady. Yes, follow the lady. 
always follow the person that walks with good in like in intentions. She knows where she's going. She doesn't look lost. <laughs> like not at all. Us. No, we're, we're not lost. This nice little jungle here. There's some nice houses around here. It's been a good stroll, baby, hey? The only thing that could have improved it was having a beer in the hand, but we're not sure if that's legal or not in Sydney. We'll ask a police officer later on when we see one. Because you can't try, try, can't trust Google these days. Not, not with something so important. Can't, can't tell the cop, hey, I Googled it and said it was okay. You gotta get someone's badge number and get it on camera. No. <laughs> Yeah, no. you get their badge number, you go, this is you saying this, that is legal. Oh. And then if it comes back, it's on, it's on the oh police officer. Oh, well, we, oh we got evidence. My God. No, that's well, it's, a, it's, it's oh. a couple hundred dollar fine. It's not what, oh, come on. Corona. Uh oh. Here we go, we made it to the place. All right, we're gonna find a, a sneaky beer somewhere. It's uh, made to the next beach. Bronte. Bronte Beach. Yeah. Hey. Uh, so there's no beers on tap down here, but um, got myself a sneaky Corona with a beach view. Yeah. Uh, a little stop. I think we needed a break. It's about a 45-minute walk, maybe half an hour walk here. On our way to Bondi, Bronte Beach. Get a master. about to get dark soon so we're gonna have a couple sneaky beers and maybe have a look around um, yeah if you don't hear from me it's because it got dark and I've had too many beers <laughs> yeah so we're at uh, Bondi Crevices just a, just a little uh, up sort of thing got some um, land pretty good about a shot it's pretty good <laughs> 